Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we are going to see how we can do the lookup of the name value pair in data wave transformation. So there are various techniques through which we can perform the lookup in data wave transformation. So basically like uh, what I have to do like I am getting some account type in my input request and I want to find the account code for that. So basically on the basis of type let consider my account type is saving and for saving account I have to find out the code uh, like code is 1001 so we will maintain some master sheet to, uh, for name value pair and we will try to map using the data view transformation so we will going to see various techniques how we can do that so let me move to my anypoint studio first so in my anypoint studio under source main resources I have created one master file which contain the mapping between your account type and the account code so basically this is my account type saving which will come into the input request and in the output I have to generate the account type as well as the account code if it's current then it should 1002 if it's credit it's 01003 if it's debit 1004 okay so that's a that's how we will going to do it so let me go to my map example dot xml I will drag and drop a transform xml into my mule flow basically and I will change the output no, just a minute to json let me maximize this thing so you can see it properly so I can say json ok so now I have to read that lookup file so what I can do to read that lookup file basically so I can declare one variable I can say account type lookup ok is equals to so how can I read the file so there is a uh, function provided by data view transformation it is known as read URL ok under that you can give a class path so because your file is located at the class path you can double slash uh, ok and give the file name as a account code code dot json ok comma application I want to read in the application slash json format ok so that is how you can read the file class path slash slash so this is my class path and like under class path I have to read this account code dot json and like you know uh, in the application slash json format ok and this is how my input payload load uh, will look like I will be receiving the account ID account type and the account holder and in output we also have to generate the account code this will be the input depending on this account type if you see my account type uh, like the first character is upper rest of the is lower but if you see in the file everything is the capital so we also have to make sure when we will uh, read uh, like you know uh, when when we want to find out the value so we have to pass the name in the form of in the capital letter so let me go to data view transformation first in data view transformation as we we have to iterate like it contain the array of item it contain the sorry it contain the list of item in the array so we have to iterate through those so I can say payload map okay and I can say curly bracket now the first field I want to use account ID see I can use the map object and all those things but let's I will keep it simple for now so dollar dot account ID comma then you can read account type I can say account dollar dot account type comma then account holder account holder ok the last thing I want account code so we don't have it, this in input request so what I can do so I have read 
all my uh, name value pair okay in this particular variable okay so what I can say uh, I can say account type under square bracket you have to pass a key or name so name is account dollar dot account type okay but it has to be all cat letters must be in the capital form so I can use upper function okay so basically this is my HTTP listener so uh, I will send a post request to the HTTP listener with this particular payload okay so in like once I send those requests so I will get the like uh, account ID account type and the account holder plus account code okay let me save everything so it will de uh, deploy the application so till application get deployed I will pause the video hello guys welcome back my application has been successfully deployed so let me send the request let's see what happens so I got the response okay something is gone wrong let me check like you know uh, what mapping I have done account type we got it we got the account holder also we got the account ID also but we haven't got the proper account type okay so let me check I have done some wrong in the mapping account type account type it should not be account type it should be account code it has over written okay so that's fine so so guys let me repeat once again so what we have done so basically uh, I have like uh, this particular file account code.json which contain all the name value pair of your account type and the code okay so account type is a name account code is the value so I go I, in the transform message basically you know uh, I have read all like you know a name value pair in this particular variable okay using read URL class path and your file and in the application slash JSON format basically I've used the payload map because we have a array of item or array like list of item in the array so we have to iterate to each and every you know uh, item and like we have to identify the account type for each and every account account code for each and every account okay so basically I have account ID I have account type I have a account holder then I use this variable account type for lookup and I pass the account type you know so in basically in account type what it will do when you, I will use this statement it will return back as account code from that particular file you know so let me save everything so once it will redeploy the application again okay application is deployed again let me check this time what happens so if you see I got the proper account ID account type account holder and the account code also so for saving it's 1001 for debit uh, it's 1004 for credit it's 1003 so you can check that uh, in this file okay for debit 1004 current 1002 and the saving 1001 so basically if I change this account current okay and I try to send the request no, it should also con 1002 for this particular yeah record for this account okay so now I will show you other technique so I don't want to use maintain this JSON file so we can use the properties file so mules of provide the application properties file we can make use of this so in properties file I mentioned like account dot saving 1001 account dot current is 1002 account dot debit is 1002 account dot credit is 1004 so this is the property file in property file I am maintaining this key value pair okay and make sure like you know in the global element you add this configuration property and give the part of your lookup dot properties okay now I will go to data transformation and let me do one thing now I don't want to do this okay no, no need to read any file and simply what I can do I can use there's a uh, like there's a one operator or there's a one function called P which can read the properties okay in data view transformation so I can say mule dash dash P under this I have to pass that key you know 
so account is account dot okay you can check account dot and the saving will become in the input request okay but in the lower format this time it's in lower format okay everything is a lower so account dot that's it I can use the plus plus okay then I can use I can copy this particular dollar dot account type but make sure this is lower okay one more bracket at the end now so this time what we are doing we are using this p function it's mule dot semicolon semicolon if you, if you don't use this also that is fine so it will give one uh, error uh, at the top but at runtime it get fixed so always i i prefer to use mule dot that's fine so it it doesn't make any difference you can save the application once you save it it will redeploy it so let's wait while application is redeploying yeah the application started redeploying okay the application has been redeployed so this should also give the same result back to us so we got the same result so okay so either you can use like any other file like csv file json file whatever or either you can make use of property file to perform the lookup okay and like uh, we will also see next video like how we can use the lookup function are provided in data web transformation to call a mule soft flow basically okay so basically it is possible to call the mule flow in your data web transformation right this is simple so like i explained the two ways one like creating like some json file or any file with which contain key value pair and like and the other way is lookup there is a properties file okay to perform the lookup okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like and the subscribe button thanks for watching